Uga, uga, uga. Hey, Mark Rice here, and we are continuing where we stopped last time. In the first part, I created the main character, Hero. Now, I will create the basic hero environment, which includes the ground and the background, made from just one color for now. Yeah. Ok, let's start. First, I will decrease the hero size and move it there. Now I made some space for the environment and like I said before, I will start with the ground. I will draw a rectangle and it will represent bases for all ground details. It can be a bit darker. On the top of the shape, I will draw something like a grass. I will use circles to create it. As we are talking about grass, I think this green color will be a right choice. Now I can start drawing the circles. You can play with them. Only you have to remember one thing. I want to create the grass loop element. Everything on the left and the right sides needs to fit perfectly. So the central point of the circle and upper left corner of the rectangle must be in the same point. We will do the same with the upper right corner of the rectangle. I will trim off everything on the left and right of the rectangle. Now I will continue with the circles. For the purpose of better dynamic, I will use circles of different sizes. Finally, I got what I want. Yeah. Now I will merge all those circles in one shape. I will do this using Unite Tool and Pathfinder. And it is time to cut the parts I don't need anymore. I will draw rectangles above them, select those new shapes together with the grass shapes and use the white tool. I will ungroup it and leave only the grass shape in the middle. To make this even more interesting, I will add some more shapes. They will be under the already created grass. I will do this using round rectangle tool and a darker green color. Now I will copy the shape. One more time. I want to delete everything below the orange shape. By doing this, I will create something like male and female parts of the grass and it will be perfect for the loop. I will copy those two shapes a few times. To get a better dynamic, I will change the position of the rounded rectangles. Now I will merge all into one big shape. I don't need this upper part anymore and I will delete it with minus front tool. I want to make the new grass shape and the basic rectangle have the same white. So I will select the basic rectangle shape and copy the white wall from transform. Now I will select all my objects and use horizontal align center. It is very cool. But it can be even better. Yes, if I add some stones here. Below the grass. <laughs> and I will use the same method like when I created the upper part of the grass. I'm done with the stones. Finally, I have my ground looper. Je suis je me fais ma monsieur. <laughs> <laughs> now I can add another rectangle here and increase the height of the ground loop element. And now I'm ready to build the complete ground for the game scenery. It is very cool for now. The ambient of the game will be set somewhere between evening and late night. I want to achieve this cold and scary environment, but in the same time romantic and mystical. So I will use this deep blue color for the background. I will lock the background, just press CTRL on your keyboard and press number 2. In the next part, I will fill out this cool background. But first, I want to see how the hero fits in this environment. It's cool. In the next part, I will draw a few layers in the background to get the depth of the field. So I will add some stars and the moon, mountains, trees, bones and things like that. The next part is coming soon, so stay tuned, because the best 
is yet to come. Peace.